Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host, Definition, aka the Bat Fan, who's more like Black Mask than Bruce Wayne right now. It's been very difficult getting news updates on, well, anything right now, as there's one big story that's taking up everyone's attention, and with things in lockdown, a lot of movie productions have been delayed. I feel like changing the catchphrase of this show to sometimes bad time, sometimes bad channel, because we really don't know when we'll be getting updates, but throughout this video we're going to be discussing a new interview with composer Michael Giacchino, who has said things about the film. We'll also be talking about the two week delay on the movie, and whether we think it'll be longer than that or not. There may be some spoilers here, so if you want to go into the film as blind as possible, then I highly suggest that you turn off now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to never miss a video, and please drop a like if you've been enjoying the coverage so far. With that out of the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into our breakdown of the Batman. Okay, so from the 16th of March until the 22nd, the Batman was due to have some outdoor public filming completed at St George's Hall in Liverpool. This was going to be a street scene at the location that would potentially involve the Batmobile. Matt Reeves did release the first look at the car online the week before, and in keeping with the reveal of the suit before the bike scenes were shot, we can assume that the Batmobile would be seen racing through the streets. Extras agencies had called out for cars with left-hand drives, and the studio had slowly started to put things around the area, such as a police sign post for the Gotham PD. I just want to shout out Daniel Swift on Facebook, as he was sending me messages and photos just as production was ramping up, and then he kept me in the loop with it shutting down. So yeah, cheers to you, you're the real boy wonder of this episode. It looked like it was going to be a big scene, and they definitely had everything in place, however, in wake of the outbreak, Warner Brothers did announce that production would be delayed for two weeks. We are now at the halfway point of that, and I would be very surprised if production resumed right after this coming week. Only yesterday were schools and pubs closed across the UK, making us one of the last countries to do so. Judging by the other countries around the world and their lockdowns, I think that production will be shut down for several weeks, and in the UK we're pretty much just about to hit the peak, whereas others are sort of in the middle with dealing with theirs. So if we are to hit the deadline of production resuming on Monday the 30th of March, then that would mean that the UK would have to have our lockdown, isolation period, and then be back to normality in the space of seven days, which I can't see happening. I'll be honest, I can't see it happening. Most people with the virus are told to self-isolate for two weeks, and as we are just starting our period, I can see it being at least six weeks before things get back in motion. China are just passing their peak now, and they have been in shutdown for that length of time. They had advance warnings of the virus, with cases starting back in November, so I would be very surprised if the rest of the world did it that fast. Time will tell, but I'm just happy that everyone's taking the proper precautions, and make sure you stay safe at home everyone. The film's release date itself hasn't been shifted, and I do believe that if we are back on track in two months, then the movie will be released in June 2021, as stated. I'm really hoping so, because because I don't want to have to go back and change all of the titles on my videos to Batman 2022. First world problems right here. Film productions tend to do as much as they can as early as possible, and then that leaves time for reshoots and to polish up the special effects and distribute it. Though the delay will cause these deadlines to be tighter, it is still more than likely that we will get the same release date. Matt Reeves is going to have this time away to really figure out all of the kinks and what won't work, so we will probably get rid of a lot of things that aren't needed so that the production itself can be more streamlined. Production on the John Carpenter classic The Thing was delayed due to poor weather, and in this hiatus the director worked on the script and, well, look what we ended up getting. I'm sure Reeves will do the same, and who knows, we may end up with an even better movie because of it. Now before we get into the composer's thoughts on the film, I just want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of the Skywalker Saga box set to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts on the updates in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of April, and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Okay, so Hollywood is pretty much in lockdown now, so any rumours and plot leaks that you see over the next coming weeks will likely be fake. 
We saw this yesterday with the rap reporting that Wonder Woman 1984 could be getting distributed digitally, however Warner Brothers quickly shut this down. There will be a lot of stories like this over the next couple of weeks I think, where outlets are just so desperate for clicks they just, they just make up anything and say that they have insiders. Luckily for us though, we do have a lot of websites that are using this time to reach out to people specifically and Collider have just launched a new program called Collider Connected. This live interview format has been designed to keep fans up to date with things by speaking to creators directly. Their first guest was Michael Giacchino, aka the composer for The Batman. He's worked on films like Spider-Man Homecoming, Jurassic World, and slowly the musician is carving his way through Hollywood by lending his talents to some big projects. Giacchino has already confessed to being a massive Batman fan, and whenever you see him talking about the project, you can see that he's very enthusiastic. We're just going to be breaking down the key points in the interview and what we can take from them. Firstly, he was asked what it was like working with Matt Reeves, and Giacchino said the following. I felt total freedom to do whatever I want. Matt always agreed, this is our Batman, this is our vision. In the same way that I always loved, what I still do about Batman comics and graphic novels, is that each of these artists, each of these authors, they take their own crack at what they want this to be. It's their version of Batman. I love it when I see a graphic novel of Batman in the 1800s. To me that is cool, I love that. I'm not the kind of person that says Batman must always be this. It's like, no, why? It can be whatever the artist wants to be, and it has over the years done that many times over. I love the idea of taking something and just kind of doing our version of it. So it does look like they are being experimental with the route that they're taking on the character. Batman Gotham by Gaslight probably is the 1800s Batman that he's referring to, and we can see this referenced in the cowl. We know that the movie will be a murder mystery, and though there has been confirmation it will be based on the long Halloween, it's also possible that they could take narrative notes from that book, which is also centred around the investigation of Jack the Ripper. I know, I know this movie isn't set in the 1800s, but who knows, we may even get a slightly updated adaptation of it, aka Romeo and Juliet. So glad I could get that in this video. When discussing what the new version of the character could be, he stated, I think the only thing I'd be allowed to say is watch the teaser and then make your own decision on this. I do love it. I think what he's doing is really cool and it's different and it feels fresh. In the way that I get excited when I see a new graphic novel or a comic book coming out with a new take on it, it feels like that. So we will be getting a completely new and different take on the Cape Crusader that we haven't really seen before. I definitely think that this is present in not only the suit, but also the car itself. I actually watched Blade last night and I got flashes of the new car in the ride that the Daywalker rolls around in, so it's clearly pulling from a lot. Add the Court of Owls, Gotham by Gaslight, the Arkham games and a lot more influencing the suit and I think we're in for a real great melding of a lot of works. Now, being a composer, the conversation quickly moved to the theme, and Giacchino stated that, in the pre-production process, they decided to really take ownership of the character. When discussing these choices, he said, This was a great opportunity to, from the get-go, say, Nope, this is our Batman. Like it or not, this is what we're doing. Matt and I talked about this for a long time, obviously, and last year, after reading the script, I remember sitting down and going, Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. And I wrote that piece that is in the teaser trailer. And Matt has had that too. It wasn't even done with the orchestra or anything, so then he had been using that in every single one of his presentations at Warner Bros. He would put it behind and be like, alright, here are the costumes, and you hear the thing, here's the music, and you hear the thing. So when it came time to release the teaser, he was just like, well we have to put it with the music. So from that statement, we do know the theme we've heard is a demo version and that we will be getting an orchestra version of it at some point in the film. Giacchino also stated that they are currently working on more music whilst production is shut down and that they are watching back certain things with the instrumentals added over the top. When discussing this, the composer said, Matt and I love it. We watch it, we have a lot of fun with it, which makes us feel like kids again. I did go over and record that for that, we recorded a bunch of other music as well for it, a bunch of themes and things that nobody has heard yet, but they'll all be popping up as the film gets underway again and starts getting back to production, and life gets back to normal, hopefully soon. And finally, when talking about Pattinson and the Cowl, Giacchino said the following, Robert Pattinson is just a fantastic actor and I'm thrilled to see him in it. I feel like that is such a crazy great choice for Batman and people will realise that once they see it. So there are a lot of things to look forward to and it really feels like we'll be getting a completely new and unique depiction that pulls from a lot of Batman comics and lore. 
Though things are delayed, I'm still really excited for the movie and I can't wait to see what they pull out the bag in the next couple of months. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on these updates and what you want to see in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be keeping my eyes close to the updates and if any big news comes out then you'll be the first to hear it. Make sure you stay locked to the channel and also please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you missed our last video then please check it out after this as we go over the Firefly casting rumours and debunk the one that states Johnny Depp is playing the Joker. If you want to support the channel from as little as 99 cents a month then please click the join button below. You get access to content early and can also suggest video topics and breakdowns. We massively appreciate it and it goes a long way to helping videos like this get made. If you want to come chat to us after the show either follow us at Definition YT or click the discord link in the description below. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with heavy spoilers so hopefully we see you over there very soon. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.